Chapter 1, Section 7, Sculpting. The sculpting utility will allow us to remove anatomy from our data. The icon is located at the top of the window, which resembles a scalpel. Simply left click to activate it, and then through a series of left clicks, draw a shape around the area to hide or mask. Clicking once on top of the shaded area will then mask that anatomy from view. However, it's important to note that this tool will not allow you to permanently modify, alter, or change this data in any way. I can, however, save it with a project with the changes I made here, but for legal reasons and liability reasons, the data cannot be modified or reduced in size in any way. To access the sculpting tool, highlight and left click on the icon that says Sculpt. From here, we can sculpt either the coronal view, axial, sagittal, or our 3D rendering. We'll go ahead and work with our 3D rendering here, and we'll do a sectional cut where we're going to run a line through the midline and remove the entire left-hand side of our arch. I'll left-click at the top of my scan, left-click once at the bottom of my scan, left-click over here, and then left-click in the upper right-hand corner here. As I now hover my mouse inside of this box, if I left click, this area will then be masked. However, if I left click out here, then the right hand side of the arch will then be masked. So let's go ahead with our original tension to hide the left hand side. As I left click, I've now masked that anatomy from view, as indicated by my coronal view and my axial view. As I right click my scan, you can see I'm viewing only the right hand side of my anatomy here. Again, it's important to note that this tool will allow you to mask the anatomy from view. However, this tool will not allow you to permanently alter, modify, or change this original data in any way, again, for either legal reasons or liability reasons. So to restore our anatomy, you can either undo or left-click on the icon that says Reset Mask. At this point in time, pause the video and access the 3D software to replicate the steps of the sculpting tool itself.